Okay, folks, let's get this Robin Hood app onto your phones. Let's start by going to the Play Store. Let's tap on the Play Store. Go to the search bar up top. Type in Robin Hood. I got four letters in and Robin Hood already popped up. It's the one on the top that you see there. A green box for a background with a white feather in the middle. I'm going to tap on the Robin Hood icon. In my case, it says open because it's already downloaded on my phone. In yours, it would ask you to install. After you install, it's going to ask you a series of questions. It's very important that you answer those questions. The Department of Homeland Security requires that all um, brokers request and verify information that we provide them uh, for our own safety and uh, to make sure that there's no funding of any illegal ventures going on. So I'm going to tap on the open. And my particular app allows me to use biometrics to access it. You can make whatever adjustment necessary for you to access your app in any way you want. So this is what the phone app looks like. It's a little different than the desktop version, as you can see here. Uh, it, t it has a... Uh, it's got the amount in your investment account. Uh, it tells you uh, whether it went up or down. It's got the chart, uh, not the chart that I prefer, but I did notice one thing, that when I tap on the stock that I own, it immediately changes it over to the candlestick formation, which is the preferred chart for the professionals. So I'm going to go back one step, let you see this screen, I got the stock that I own, and I was able to populate a watch list, and any particular stock that you're interested in that you want to keep an eye on, you can go and select a stock and add it onto your watch list. This underneath here, underneath the chart, is like a slide. There's a number 10 on the top right corner of that window. Uh, just to let you know that there are 10 slides. I'm going to whip right through them. As you can see, every time I swipe, it keeps uh, subtracting one from that top right corner. It provides you with a bunch of information some of it is uh, new, some of it is related to uh, your stock, and some of it is related to uh, money transferring in and out of your account. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to keep purchasing more SFL, I just tap on the SFL, and there's my trade bar. Tap on my trade bar. Gives me three options. If I want to buy more, I can tap on buy. Select the number that I want to buy. It automatically gives you an estimated cost. When it's at zero, it tells you how much you have available. So you might want to check what you have available before you start putting in numbers. And on the top right corner, is where I get to select the order type. Remember, I like to put in limit. That's because I um, I use other other platforms, and in those other platforms, if you don't put in a limit order and you leave it at market order, you're going to wind up paying a whole lot more for the stock than you actually want to. So you go set a limit price. Now, Robinhood they're good about it you don't have to set a limit price they get you the best price available so that's a really good plus and don't forget another really good plus about the Robin Hood app is that they don't charge you any commissions or any brokers fees to trade 
which is a huge, huge plus. Uh, helps out a lot when you're doing dollar cost averaging. So let's see what else is on this phone app. I'm going to try to figure out what to do in the event that I wanted to trade something other than SFL. Let me see if I can figure this out on my own. I'll have you here. Uh, quickly. Yeah, okay, so on the bottom I noticed that there's a search bar. Or not a search bar, or rather the... Um, the little search icon there so I'll hit that and another search icon on the very top tap on that and then I can put whatever um, whatever uh, Whatever stock I'm interested in and it pops up and and again the trade the little trade icon is a uh, little trade icon is there again you just tap on it and again that's all you need to do so let me go ahead and sign off on this. I hope this was helpful. Catch up with you guys later.